Shalom. Kohalo la Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name is the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom also to you, Akim. You brothers that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen, nations are scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, the nations start from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people, as you see here on this chart, through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word, the truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, and child. If this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you do look like the heathen, you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people in this chart. So you once again, you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen nations, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15 verse on down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they are the sons of those Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man, no matter what they come looking like. If their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. To the few Aqua, a few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, believe, and do respect, have respect to your husband, Shalom, to the elect of Israel, Shalom to you as well. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh. And his only begotten son, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. And we're going to um, play a clip right here on Dabu 77's page. Being hit with these cyber attacks that are ramping up across the country. They were targeting hospitals. They were targeting schools and different infrastructure. Now they are targeting the energy infrastructure in this country. They are directly going in and targeting the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. FERC. They're also tar targeting Sandia, Los Alamos National Laboratories that are in New Mexico and Washington. And the DOE says that they still don't know if anything was actually accessed. They don't know all this stuff. But one thing that they do know is that it was conducted by Russian-backed hackers. How's that? How do you know? Show us the proof then. Show us how you know this. You know, all of that damning evidence and show no proof of it. But yet you can't even tell us what was accessed or what, what all was hacked. And this is the most important sector of the country. Something's not right here, folks. I've warned you for the better part of a decade to have a plan for a lights out situation. And with North Korean satellites going over our country daily, that an EMP commission said could be EMPs. They're at the perfect height, perfect size, perfect everything. And they're going the wrong way versus all the other satellites. Uh, well, our military didn't shoot them down and they left them there. The history books has got to blame someone. Can't you see? Can't you see? Do you have the eyes to see what's happening here on this world stage? Can't you see how all these world leaders are walking out of somewhere with a paper in hand, giving them orders to implement lockdowns and social distancing and all this stuff the same way? Doesn't that click in your brain? Huh? That they're all getting orders from someone above? Which means that they're not truly... That's, that's uh, the spirit, all right? They're all getting orders from someone above. And it's really all right, the elites, but above them, who is it? All right, it's the how about Shimo shot, man. All right, we're going to get that, you see? Because Esau's blessing is what? Is that sword, man. All right. And he cold hardly trusts in that blessing. Okay, his sword, which is his media, okay? His uh, military, okay? And his nukes, just his technology. All right, all that's his sword. All right. And the Most High, like he just said, you know, is there someone above doing all this? Of course it is. This is Proverbs and it's the spirit that, you know, they say it was Russia, and let's say it was, and let's say it wasn't. Which, if it was, all right, that's the spirit, all right, because the Russians are gonna be the the spearhead. They're gonna be at the head of these other nations when they uh take down America, man. But it's all orchestrated by Yahweh by Shemal Shah, 
This is Proverbs 21 and 1. Hold on. All right, let's get that. Proverbs 21 and 1 says the king's heart, all right, which is the mind, the end of the, uh, the thought, all right, which is live, if you go into it, is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, as the rivers of water, he turned it whithersoever he will, all right? So the Lord doing all this, the Lord's orchestrating, okay, the destruction of this place, man, all right? But it says everywhere of man's right in his own eyes, but the Lord pawns the hearts, all right? The Lord is in control, everything, man, all right? I'm going to uh, get that scripture. All right. We're going to get the word ponder. It says to regulate, measure, estimate. All right. To make even. Um. Yep. We go down. It says a, a, to balance, measure out by weight, a dimension, figure, figuratively, figuratively, to arrange, equalize through the idea of leveling. Okay. So Most High is doing all this, man. He's, uh, uh, uh. He's in the midst, okay? He living, like it says, you know, he set up the base of men. He living in the kingdom of men, all right? Man, all the living know that the most high ruler in the kingdom of men. That's what I meant, all right? He's doing it. Let me get Isaiah 45 and 46. All right, I just started uh, four. So for Jacob, my servant's sake, Israel, my elect, you Israelites, so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, which inside of the house of Israel, you have the the, the remnant, all right, the one third, okay? But it says, I have called, even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, Shema, Shah, there is none else. There is no God beside me because the elites, they believe that they're God on earth, man. That's why if you go on uh, Ephesians 6, it talks about what the uh, the uh, gods of this world, you know, the uh, 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 the the um the god. Yeah, it says the gods of this world, you know, the princes of darkness, man. All right, because they believe in their heart that there is no there is there is no god beside them, but there is a god beside them. It's Jehovah by Shemal Shah. All right, I girded thee, though thou has not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shah, and there is none else. All right? And I form the light and create darkness. And what is he talking about in that video? You know, that they could actually, you know, launch an EMP, which is an electric magnetic pulse attack, which that could, uh, that's, that's enough power to knock down the electrical grid, man. The whole electrical grid. All right? And I'm um, trying to think of a movie where that happened. It was a movie I seen where that happened. Can't think of it. it. Slipped my mind, but um, yeah, man, that's what EMP could do. It could knock out your electricity, all your electricity, and a lot of things in this country, everywhere. You need electricity, man. Your stove, your refrigerator, everything uh, uh surrounds around like electricity. All right. So the Lord create create all these things, man. Everything you see happening, the Lord creates. Whether it's judgment, all right. Whether it's something good, everything. Okay. Jehovah by Shema Shah. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. Okay? So, yeah, somebody from above is orchestrating, okay, uh, these things to happen, man. All right? And he's using men on the earth to uh, uh, fulfill it, okay? But um, speaking of this nuclear, you know, this nuclear um breach, okay? This is That's the spirit because he said the meat, you see? He said the Medes, which I mean the uh, the Russians, was there the Medes, all right, that they possibly did it, okay? Now, America, you know, it could just be, you know, uh, this country accusing, you know, the Russians. Well, however it plays out, it doesn't matter. All right, the Lord is putting the spirit in them to do it, man, okay? But um, there was another scripture, all right, that they've been breached, man, okay? Lord and Lord's gonna cause, you know. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me get Daniel's. You know, speaking on Esau and his blessing. All right. That's gonna fail him, man. Okay. This is uh. But that's how Esau likes to remain. Esau likes to uh, remain, okay, 
And actually, let me get that. Well, first, let me try this first. Salaki, I'm all over the place, but um. I'll probably get that first. We know where I'll get this. This is Jeremiah. Oh, no. This is Daniels. This is Daniels 8 and 23. It says, And now, in the latter time of their kingdom, whose kingdom? Esau's kingdom. When the transgressors have come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and, un and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. And his power shall be mighty. Why is his power mighty? Because his blessing was the sword, man. Are these different weapons Esau has? Okay. That's his power, man. Esau's power relies in his weaponry. Our, our power relies in what? Yahweh by Shema Shah. Okay? Speaking to you Israelites. But anyway, it says, And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. Which that's you Israelites. All right? But he's destroying everybody with his technology, man. All right? And through his policy, you know, his, uh, his so-called laws, you see that he passes, you know, in the White House. He shall also, he shall cause the craft, and prosper in his hand shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall, all right, and this is what he does, okay. But that it says, you know, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, man. All these different uh devices he have, all right, is prospering because the the heavenly Father uh gave him power to do so. Okay, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And says of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. All right, he's being broken. All right, and it's through the first and foremost is through the words of Yahweh by Shema was shot, man. All right, this word is what is breaking down the strongholds. And I did that yesterday, you know, it's breaking his strongholds down. I'm gonna get this, okay? He's being exposed. All right, and a lot of his weaponry is being, let me get it, Jeremiah 49. All right. And 10 says, but I have made Esau bear, all right? And I have uncovered his secret places, all right? His so-called, uh, you know, agencies, man. You know, different uh, things. You know, I know uh, schools, they've been hacked, okay? There's all types of things that's been uh, hacked by cyber attacks, man, all right? In this country, man. And this is supposed to be the number one country. They're supposed to already have, you know, things in place to prevent, okay, uh, cyber attacks against them, but it's happening, which is showing the, it's just more proof that this place is falling, man. You got foreign entities, especially Russia, but you even got, you know, he said what North Korea. You got North Korea, man. North Korea is real small. All right, now they got nukes. All right, they do got nukes. So do these other uh heathen nations. All right, but still though, North Korea wouldn't pull a stunt like this, you know, or Russia, even Russia. You did have the Cold War, but just speaking, you know, they wouldn't pull anything like this two, two decades, two, three decades ago, you know, and even if they did try to pull something like this, it was unsuccessful right off the bat. But now it's like this place is constantly, this place I'm speaking of is uh, America is constantly taking L's, man, because it's that time, man. All right. You're about to go head to head. OK. With the king of terrors, man. Your house was shot, man. All right. And it says. And he shall not be able to hide himself. He his seed is full and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not, man. Alright? So this is what's gonna happen, man. Okay. Let me see. I keep going. It says, Lead thy fathers, thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Yahabai Shema Shah, behold, days whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken. And who drunk of the cup of the Lord's wrath first? It was his people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right? You going into slavery, all right? You under the curses. That's us drinking the cup of the Lord's wrath, all right? But the Lord uh, made us subject to vanity to go off, okay? Because it was prophecy. So we had to, you know, we had to, you know, uh, uh, deal with this, you see? It says, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shall not go unpunished, but thou shall surely drink of it, man. Okay, let me see. It says, For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shah, that Basra, which is a capital city of you Edomites, man, modern day Basra, okay, is America, shall become a desolation, a reproach, and a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual wastes. And this is starting to happen. All right, these cities 
in America, these starting with the major cities, all right, people are fleeing them, okay, trash on the side of the road, okay, houses is vacant, you got a bunch of vacant property, all right, you know you had riots, okay, break out, so you still got places that look like shit, all right, this is what's happening, but it's going to really manifest itself, let me go into it, it says, I've heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, and the bastard is sent on to the heathen, saying, gather you together and come against her and rise up to the battle, this is what they're doing, all right, these other nations, they're seeing, okay, uh, like it says in Isaiah the 14th chapter, thou become weak as weak, they're seeing the place decay, man, from the inside out, all right, they see this place is divided, they see this place the economy is, is, is jacked up, all right? The military is even jacked up, okay? What's in this man's military? It's mostly women, all right? And I've seen a, um, a video, or it was an article, you know, going back some time ago. There's a lot of people in the military that's, that's obese, you see? And a lot of dudes in this country, all right, he saw through his, uh, uh, through television, you know, through drugs, you know, pharmaceutical drugs and actual, you know, illicit drugs, okay? And through the music, he's turned a lot of men this uh, generation soft, okay? And made them degenerate, man. All right, so these men, a majority of these men in America ain't going to fight, man. But they will be forced to fight in this third world's war, all right? They will be. They're going to be sent, sent off. Why do you think 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, says what it says, man? All right, and the virgin shall more have no bridegrooms, and the war shall have bridegrooms be destroyed. All right, you also gonna have the uh, race wars, we have full wars, class wars, because you already seen the class war build up. Okay, you got the rich versus the poor. Okay, this is what you're seeing, man. All right, but these heathens are going full uh, uh, fledged on their assault on America, whether you know it's uh, cyber attacks. All right, well it's uh, through you know different treaties that. You know, they made with America and then now, you know, departing, detaching themselves from these treaties and making treaties amongst themselves, amongst other nations that's also on the same boat as them when it comes to America. This is what they're doing, man. So they're coming up, they're rising up against this place, man. And it's all orchestrated by Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. All right. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, despised among men. It says, Thy terribleness have deceived thee. And the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the cluster of the rocks, you Edomites, that holds the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagles. The eagle is one of the highest flying birds. All right, and that's why Esau, he loves to use the eagle as his uh, symbol. All right, all these heat I mean, Edomites, man, you know, this is why they do that. But he's been prideful, man. He's He's been in, in, in the high seat. You know, and that, that had that God complex, okay, since he came back into power during the Renaissance. And ever since then, you know, they boast about their military. They boast about how great and rich America is. Well, now look at it, man. Look at this place now, all right? Now this place is being despised, man. Now you got people that came, that was dying to come to America, that wanted to come to America, that would literally leave their countries just to come here. They're now getting the hell out of here, man, all right? They're getting the hell out of here. A lot of Americans that's, that's, that was born and raised in America are now uh, 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 getting rid of their citizenship and trying to get citizenship somewhere else, man. Some foreign country, man. Just getting the hell away from here, man. All right? It says, I will bring thee down from this, said the Lord, you how about Shema Shah, man. All right? And this is what's happening. They're being brought low. All right? You either might be being brought low. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that go by it shall be a staunch and shall hiss at the plagues thereof, man. Okay? Let me see. All right, so this is what's happening. Okay? I keep going, but I got another scripture. All right? So, this is what's happening. These heathen are starting to uh, take it. Because these heathen, all right, Iran, Russia, China, they want payback, man. All right? They want payback, and, and a lot of them think they're going to rule next, but that's not going to happen. All right? We know according to prophecy, that's not going to happen, man. All right? Let me get um devices. All right? I'll get Job 5 then. All right? This place will be destroyed, man. Okay, and we in that 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 uh time. 
This is uh Joel. All right. You know what? Let me get um Psalm seventy three. I'm gonna come back. But the scripture about the slippery places. All right. All right, this is Psalm 73 and 18. It says, Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou cast them down to destruction, man. Okay? So this is what's happening. All right? Every every move that these 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 Edomites try to make, all right, is a move closer to what? Their destruction, man. All right? Because why? Because they're bound to prophecy. Everybody is bound to prophecy, man. All right? You could scoff and talk shit about it, say that's not going to happen, but you're still bound to prophecy. And that's prophecy just saying that. You see? But um, going back to Job 5, all right? Terrors are, it said terrors are upon this place, man. All right? Being consumed with terrors, man. You got to deal with these people. You know, they rioting and looting. Whether it's over police shooting. All right? People about to get um thrown out of their houses in the winter, man. All right? Depending on where you're at. People uh, don't have any money. All right? So you got to deal with your own citizens, and you got to deal with uh, uh, your Hawabai Shim outside first and for foremost, and his men, all right? And then you got to deal with these other nations. See, you being consumed from all sides, see? It's overwhelming now. See, Esau think he's just going to roll this uh, this new world order out, and it's going to be a piece of cake. And it's, it's, it's difficult. This is why he's going to have to come down with great wrath. But this is uh, uh, Salakia. Let me see where I'm going to start at. Alright, this is good. This is good. I'm going to start at 1. I start Job 5 and 1. Alright? It says, Call now if there be any that will answer thee. Alright? And, and, and to which of the saints will thou turn? Alright? For wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. I have seen the foolish taking root. Alright? Because Esau what? Uh, uh, what does it say, Job 30 and 8? For they are uh, a children of base men. They will uh, fooler. Let me get that right quick. Let's talk about Esau in that verse. Alright? Job uh, 30 and 8. So they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Because that's really what he is, man. Esau is a base man. He's not, okay, this Godhead as he professed himself to be on the planet earth, man. He's a base man. All right? I always say, where's the basement of your house? The basement of your house, okay, is at the bottom, man. He's the bottom of the bottom when it comes to the heathens, man. All right? That's all he is. But he's what? He's been set up. He's been... By the Heavenly Father, by, by your Hawabai Shemal Shah, by the way, he's been what? He's been set up, man. All right? The scriptures say the Lord set up kings and he bring uh, down one, man. You see? It says, and envy slave the silly one. I read that already. It says, but suddenly I curse his habitation. Because Esau is what? Cursed to judgment, man. All right? We're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 to 15, verse to 68, verse on down. All right? The Lord's going to judge him, man. And then... In the kingdom, they will be under the curses. You see? It says, His children are far from safety, and they are crushed in the gate. Neither is there any to deliver them, because these elites, they fin the, uh, they creating these bunkers, okay? And they fin the lead you Joe Six Pack Edomites and the rest of you people here in America, okay, to fend for yourself, man. But they think that they're going to be delivered from the judgment of Yahweh by Shema Shah. But they really don't understand what them uh hide in these bunkers, whether it's in the ground, whether it's in the uh the sky, the heavens, you know, whether it's in the uh sea, because that's in Amos the ninth chapter. They do have these bunkers, all right. They're still going. They're going to be what the first fruits of captivity, all right. And all the people of their nation that that perish on this side, they're gonna be brought back through those elites. You see, so there's no escaping Yahweh by Shema all right. We couldn't escape going into captivity. As hard as we fought against it, we couldn't escape it. All right? Because we were what? We were bound to the prophecies. We were bound to what Yahweh Bashim al said, man. It says, Whoso harvests the hungry, eateth up and taketh it even out of, the, out of the thorns. And the robber swallowed up their had substance. Although affliction cometh not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out of the ground, yet man is born to trouble and as the sparks fly upward. 
I will seek going to Yahweh by Shemal Shah and on to Yahweh by Shemal Shah will I commit my cause, which do of great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. You know, because Jake, Jake throughout history, you know, dealing with these Edomites, you know, being in this captivity, you know, Jake will uh, form, you know, the Civil Rights Movement. Then they'll form, what, Black Panthers. You know, they try to start Black Wall Street. They did everything, you know, to try to uh, uh, to get around or overthrow the so-called white man outside your house by Shema Shah. But you know the scriptures according to Acts 5 and 38, 39, says if uh, if counsel be of men, it will come to naught. And if it, if it be of Yahweh, it shall stand. See, what they was doing was outside your house by Shema Shah. See, your house by Shema Shah, he has everything planned out already. You see? Everything's already planned out. Jake don't really have a plan. All right, outside your house by Shema Shah. You see? Who will give it rain upon the earth and send of waters upon the fields. To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. All right? The new world order, man. All right? That's the enterprise that they want to set up. The new world order. All right? But the point being is that he disappointed the devices of the crafty, man. All these little, uh, you know, just like the... um. It's how you uh told the world, you know, the New World Order, you know, not the New World Order, but you told the world that them UFOs, you get what you got, Area 51, you try to hide that, man. You try to keep the so-called UFOs uh under wraps, but so many sightings is popping up, which those are the chairs you have by Shima Shah, all right, that you were forced to come out and say, all right, they're real. So now they're calling it what? IFOs, Identifying Flying Objects, which Esau... He, he knows the angels are on there, man. There are people that's for us. The Israelites is on there, man. And they're coming to get him. All right? So, they're forced to, uh, they had to be forced to uncover that. And now your your different, you know, weaponry, you know, uh, 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 you know, stashes and everything is all being, you know, hacked into, man. All right? So, this is what's going to happen. All right, in this third world's war, all right, you're going to go down, man. Because, you know, Esau, he got his little, uh, his silos, you know, his, you know, his system to block nukes. When the nuke is coming, he has a device to try to, you know, destroy the nukes before they hit ground. But according to Joel 2, and I'm going to end it. Ooh, so like it. it. says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm, which you Israelites, and we're doing that now through these videos. We're letting you know what's getting ready to go down. All right, we even letting these other nations know their judgment. You see, it says, "And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh Shemal Shah cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness." And what did they say? What did Joe Biden and even uh, Trump say? That a dark winter is coming, and we in that dark winter. All right, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and the strong they have not been. Ever the like, neither shall there shall be any any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yet nothing shall escape them. The, the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen shall they run. Alright, and this is going into what? The missiles. Alright. Like the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble. As a strong people sat in battle array, before their face the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness because when you, you people in America, all right, that's not uh, uh, you Israelites, really speaking, because you other heathens, you don't have any escape route, all right. You don't have no deliverance, all right. But speaking of the Israelites, the two thirds of you that aren't uh, raised up on these chariots when the missiles are shot and they're coming towards this place. All right, that's what your face is going to be. You're going to be shocked, man, because you won't believe that America all right, is going to be able to deflect those missiles, man. But we're going to see what it says. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his way, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his path, and when they shall fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. All right, and Esau, what? It's the sword of the Most High, Psalm 17 and 13. All right, the wicked, okay? So it's saying, basically, when uh they are shot off, it's, they're not going to, uh you know, blow up. 
on the way to their destination, all right? And Esau, through his uh, so-called nuclear uh, device, you know, the, 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 the nukes that he's uh, tried to, uh, I mean, the device to try to keep him from hitting, you know, this, this land, all right, that's not going to work. They're going to hit their target, man, all of them, all right? They shall run to and fro the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. And the movie is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Watch that scene when the, the missiles hit. All right, that fire went through all those buildings, man. Everything that the fire touched, it vaporized, man. That's what it's going into. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble, and the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for the camp, for his camp is very great. For he is strong to execute his word. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShah, is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? And the only ones that's going to be able to abide it is the elect, the remnant, those who are uh, destined to be delivered out of his destruction. All right, anybody outside that, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? And two things is going to happen. All right? Those of our people, the two-thirds that die in that destruction, you will be brought back righteously in the kingdom, man. You're going to be good. We're going to be living it up. You heathens, all right. To those of you that survive, all right, you're gonna be you're gonna be chained up. You're going into slavery, and those of your people that died, okay, in this destruction, all right, they're gonna be brought back through you in slavery, just like our people. All right, that's how this is gonna work. All right. This was edifying. Papa Kasha, Papa Po, Papa Po, Papa Ha Ayapia, Papa Ha Ayapia. Shalom to you left, to the few aquaf that do listen and learn. Shalom. Hawad, haya, la, yahawah, ba, shimosha. Shalom.